Welcome, welcome, welcome to a special build the rink resolution. Grab yourself a cup of coffee, tea, or whatever, something to drink. If you don't want to drink anything, don't. But keep your breathing. Levels up and down, like yoga or like you're jogging, better at running, football style, gymnastics, acrobatics. Wake up. Let me have a sip of coffee and we'll get down to business. Since it has been announced that there is a resolution, an ongoing resolution to the continuing, that is the tariffs on Canadian aluminum and steel which were imposed last year in March about 10% about and 25% respectively on aluminum and steel, Canadian aluminum and steel, which was of course the original intent that is, that is how the build the rank and dragon versus trump got initiated by your truly adrian h dragon world lgbtq citizen universal spiritual teacher and multidisciplinary artist so if you're not familiar if anybody's going to watch this video we'll give a brief history lesson so last year there were an imposition of tariffs by the trump administration trump on Canadian aluminum and steel, 10 and 25 percent, and thus have publicly, officially begun challenging Donald Trump to a boxing match on the Canadian US border in order to get rid of those tariffs. Thus, the Dragon versus Trump campaign. Since, and I have to say, since I'm very much a sportsman like rainbow that is i adhere to laws of sportsmanship good sportsman like conduct and maybe not when i'm rapping but that's me as an artist so when i'm rapping maybe not so much but in sports football gymnastics nfl and boxing of course adhere to sportsman like rules dating back to the ancient grecian greco civilization 770 something be for the common era of which they adhered and do adhere to those principles of keeping the peace peace love and harmony that being stated it's not about my philosophy but it was about of course the tariffs affecting canadians and socially and of course financially workers in the aluminum and steel So that is that was the call for building a rink on the Canadian US border made of Canadian aluminum and steel and of course paid by Donald Trump. Myself had a dollar, still have it, still willing to give it for the financing because right now financially struggling, living in a financial crisis. So have this US dollar that was printed in 2006, which I am willing to give for the building of the rink. But now since situation is changing and the resolution seems to be ongoing hopefully a resolution by the end of this video is done the resolution has been fully completed but last Friday nonetheless there was an announcement that there's going to be a resolution on the tariffs the cancellation of tariffs and there's the stabilization of relationships so I have to congratulate Justin Trudeau and the administration and Trump and administration for getting rid of this, put it simply, nonsensical, non canadian american non canal americano point in our modern history at least. Myself, born in 1984, a millennial, it is certainly unprecedented in my lifetime as a North American, what years to North American integration and union and co cooperation wasn't wasn't cool bro so besides wasn't cool it was certainly something that was unproductive so now because of the resolution we are resolved to continue the project the program but to call instead of one rink to call for the building of three rings across one 
in each country, respectively, Canada, United States, and Mexico, and each respectively to be built by aluminum and steel and products of the other. So, it will be the same model as build the ring. The same model, if you check the past video, build the ring class 1A, with the same principles of a ring, but this time instead of one on the Canadian waste border, build of Canadian aluminum and steel, build jointly. Built jointly by North Americans and me and Donald Trump will fight and maybe even Justin Trudeau and the president of Mexico have a boxing match in each ring for the inauguration so now the name so instead of one just three. So the Coliseum, the North American Coliseum, official name, the North American Rig Sports Wellness and Recreational International Integrated Complex, short for North American Coliseum, each to be three times the size of the Coliseum in Rome. The original Coliseum, of course, was in the ancient Roman Empire, and so I'm calling it to be three times the size of the Coliseum in Rome to the North American Coliseum brothers and sisters and sisters. So, the North American what same thing so one in each three across north america three coliseums across north america across North America so one Colosseum three times the size of Rome three times size Colosseum a public private partnership eco friendly and of course solar powered as much as possible solar powered and of course in Canada hydro powered and as much as possible clean energy so where our citizens can go once a year with a selection of course those willing they have to, by registration to register to be able and of course free of cost one week depending how much they choose if they have kids family 10 days or so different packages for keeping be for free or if it can be two models of course was so that not finance or volunteer volunteering is strongly encouraged and it's an ethos of the volunteering since myself have been volunteering it's for years in different organizations volunteering is something that I hold dear to the hearts so volunteering and volunteering and more volunteering volunteering ethos so for example if somebody chooses to volunteer every day that's you can more chances the more merit 
to being allowed or having a prolonged stay. The minimum stay, of course, is seven days a week. So volunteering across that is surrounding the centers be built residential complexes. So residential complexes around the center. And of course, other outlets such as little farms or gardens, of course, and other outlets. So to have residential complexes. Housing about 10,000 people each. So if there's 10 surrounding the Coliseum, being able to house about 10,000 each, then do the math. 10,000 times 10 is of course 100,000 at a time. And then of course people can register for their activities. Activities ranging from art, of course, of course, of course, sports, education, wellness. Art, of course, can be creation, can be dancing, can be painting, sports, boxing, gymnastics, and different events where people can register, have their whole day set out for that is the itinerary plan for them, or they can go by their own and see where they can find a spot. Wellness, of course, can be massages and spa and therapy so this is like a citizens vacation open for citizens of North America of course they have to register and there is of course there will be um, that is rules there will be regulations guidelining but of course there's no discrimination based on any financial of course other factors such as religious or racial or gender or sexual orientation none of that crap and of course none of the financial because of course it is free of cost for all North American citizens and funded publicly and privately. So both the governments to get involved give a purpose in the sun and of course for the institutions and of course the different organizations non-government organizations to get involved so three of these mega complexes across north america so the dragon versus trump will be the inauguration of the first or starting first maybe do three matches me down versus trump one after the other or consecutively a few days apart or a few weeks apart or a few months apart to inaugurate the three north american Coliseums. Full name, of course, the North American Integrated Sports, Wellness, and Recreation Coliseum. <laughs>